The campaign begins in the midst of autumn, as the trading vessel the Maiden Smurf sets off from the harbour of Hornbeck, heading towards the capital of the Draconian Empire, Sovakai. On board the ship, a group of adventurers would soon be forced to join one another in order to survive. Espen Goldskill, the sole heir to the Goldskill family in Lanford, had taken the ship to Sovakai in order to locate his draconic forefather, Gradumanax, who was rumoured to still be alive somewhere in the continent of Novenia. Jace Larkin, the half elven warlock, left behind the streets of Holmbeck, as he had been chosen by the archery Lady Galafriel to serve her, and he wanted to know why she had picked him specifically. On the other hand, Fenian Wildwalker, the sole martial artist left of the monasteristic order of the path, decided to travel the world in order to find answers of what happened to his order and his missing friend. Meanwhile, both the dwarven wizard Bramdine and the human bard Pannon had boarded the ship for reasons only known to themselves, in an attempt to leave behind their past, and stored in a crate below deck. Unaware how much time had passed since he had entered hibernation mode, the gunslinger warforged Spark bided his time. Halfway to Sorvakai, the maiden smurf was suddenly struck by a great storm and forced out into the treacherous parts of the sea known as Oblivion Rim, where a huge wave came crashing down and wrecked the ship, killing everybody on board with the sole exception being the previously mentioned passengers. The survivors found themselves on a distant, foreign shore of soil, and after gaining the bearings, made their way into the huge, ancient forest located nearby. During the first rest, Bramdine, Jace, and Fenian were all gifted with a magical mark given to them by an unknown entity, allowing them to tap into new powers that they did not previously possess. Short time after, the group found the remains of Varok Joygain, who they discovered was a stranded adventurer, who had spent the last eight years finding a method to leave the island he had accomplished this by imbuing a horn with holy magic. Furthermore, by reading the notes on his map, the group realized that the island was Briarweld, a nationwide forest to the north of Novenia, which had broken off after the final battle of the Hex War, in which the cruel tyrant, the Witch Queen, was finally defeated. After fighting off a pack of feral wolf-sized squirrels, the group encountered civilization in the form of the mentally deficient Nuna and the other members of the Clam Greenseeker descendants of those who had lived in Briarworld nearly a thousand years ago. The crew brought the magic item to a dwarf named Holgrim Stoutfeather, who was the leader of the Greenseekers wishing to leave Briarworld behind along with Fravark, and together they used the horn to travel with lightning speed to Eisenfang Bay, located a few days travel away from the small town of Toothspire. However, at Toothspire the group was informed by the captain of the city guards and local priest Father Josea Finch, that the town was attacked by kobolds, and in order to ensure the safety of the Briarwell allies, the group decided to care of the problem. They first traveled to Rocky Hill, which was used as a temporary base for the kobolds, and later on confronted the masterminds behind the attacks in a cave at Eisenfang Bay, namely the albino dragonborn Tarako and his leader, the adolescent white dragon Isklamox. They managed to kill the dragon and brought Tarako back with them so he could be imprisoned for his crimes against the town. And so ended the first session.